These are my tools to create awesome PS4 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versal from Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, this is for 5.05 jailbroken slash modded users. And we're gonna showcase how to run NES ROMs on your PlayStation 4. One slight caveat is it does not do any save game state. So it's a very simplistic emulator from that standpoint. But if you're looking to play NES games on the fly for fun, then it's a good solution for what it is basically. So you go to the video description, there's a link to where you can go to this website and there's the latest release with some instructions of how this works. You can download the RAR file from Mega. Once you have downloaded, you can extract it. I'm gonna extract it to its own folder right now. And then you can copy it to your USB device format as FAT32 or XFAT. I'm using a USB thumb drive today and I'll show you how to put the files on there. So when you go inside your folder, there's gonna be a PS4 NES folder, the package file, and then this basic readme instructions. So we're gonna keep things simple today. So what we're gonna do first is we're not gonna mess around with the rounds path or anything like that. We're just gonna leave everything as its defaults. So first, let's copy over the package file to my PS4 USB thumb drive. And then we can also copy over the PS4 NES folder to the root of my PS4 thumb drive, okay? Inside my thumb drive here, inside the PS4 NES, if you like, like I said earlier, you can right click, use Notepad or Notepad++. You can edit this ROMs path. I'm gonna leave it alone. And then inside the ROMs folder, this is where you add all your ROMs that you like to play. So I'm just gonna do one example test today. We're gonna do Mega Man 2, so let me just drag and drop that over here. Um, I can't tell you where to get the ROMs, but I'm sure the internet has a lot of sources for you if you're interested in doing something like this. So once you have that going on, all you gotta do now is just basically, uh, let's eject the thumb drive, and then plug this thumb drive in the rightmost USB port of your PS4. And then from there, when you turn on your PS4, you know, uh, run your payload injector, however you like to do it. I like to do the cache all method from the LZ host. So I'll just showcase on, my, on that on my PS4 briefly and show you the rest of this installation and emulator tutorial. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so here we are on my PS4. Let's do this. So I'm gonna log in. And then what we're gonna do is basically just go through the motions, go through the user's guide and run 5.05 and run the PS4 hand. Once that's good, then we're just gonna go down to basically the debug settings like I've showcased in previous tutorials and make sure that your USB thumb drive is in the rightmost USB port, not the leftmost port. So let's go ahead and do this. After this is installed, we'll go to the X and B screen and we'll see the PS4 NES Morpheus icon and get ready for a lot of good times here. So because there's only one game, it's just gonna be one game that shows up in the list. So you just click X and it'll run the game. Um, you cannot save state, so it's pretty basic from that standpoint. And let's just go through some real quick gameplay motions here. I'm sure that if I had a PAL game of some sort, maybe the audio might be a little bit better. It might be a little bit smoother from a frame rate standpoint. So go ahead and try it out in your own testing as well. But since this is the NTSC version and we know that there are some slight issues with that, um, your results may vary basically depending on what game you're trying to, to test out. So let's say that you want to play a different game. So go ahead, exit out, run back into the application and just select another game from your ROMs list uh, just pretend I have more than one game here, but I don't. So that's today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.